This from the Philadelphia Eagles. The reigning Super Bowl champions have released tight end Brent Selleck. Eagles lost tight end Trey Burton as well in free agency. And according to our Diana Rossini, the Saints and Jimmy Graham have been seriously discussing a reunion. The talks have stalled over the last several hours per sources. Both sides still hoping to reach agreement. Other teams, including the Packers, remain interested. Jaguars receiver Allen Robinson tells our Josina Anderson he will sign with the Chicago Bears a three-year, $42 million deal, barring any last-minute snags when free agency officially opens on Wednesday. Robinson has 202 catches for over 2,800 yards and 22 touchdowns in 43 games. He is coming off a torn left ACL, suffered in the third offensive play of the last season, 2017 opener at Houston. The Bears had one of the least productive wide receiver groups in the league last year. Chicago wideouts ranked in the bottom three in catches, receiving yards, and touchdowns in 2017. Kendall Wright, the Bears' leading receiver last year, 59 catches for 614 yards and a single touchdown. Clearly, this was a need for the Bears. Uh, they need some help for their young quarterback, Josina, and they go out and find it in the form of Robinson. Yeah, I spoke to him last night and just tried to, you know, get a sense of why he ultimately selected Chicago. And he said this is a team that he had had his eye on. Uh, one of the things that he really liked is their head coach, Matt Nagy, in the sense that he is offensive minded. He took note of how he improved that offense, particularly when Kansas City went through that stretch where they were one and five in the middle of the season. Uh, they scored at least 25 points over that stretch where they won their last four games. And that really stood out to him. And I also asked Robinson if he had any concerns about working with a quarterback as young as Mitchell Trubisky, particularly with the issues that Blake Bortles and he had, you know, down in Jacksonville with some of those targets being off. And he said he feels like he possesses the skill set to accommodate Mitchell Trubisky over that growing curve. Yeah, I think it's a, a great fit. I think knowing how Matt Nagy has been taught how to implement offense, how their passing game is kind of structured – how they like to target specific defensive backs, specific coverages in the way that they target them, especially their down-the-field passing game, I think really fits what Allen Robinson does great. You saw in a couple of those clips, he's one of the best double-move, deep down-the-field route runners in the league, has a great catch radius, I think, which is going to help Mitch Trubisky, and he's a high riser who can go up and get the ball, so you don't have to always be on target with it with this guy. I think they had no other choice but to go out and get him. They had to get an outside lane weapon, a guy who can be a legitimate number one. I think Matt will do everything he can, that being Matt Nagy, the head coach, to make sure that they get their return on him. They also add Eagles tight end Trey Burton. Are they setting up Mitchell Trubisky for success, Bill? Well, we'll find out. Uh, you know, this is the year that we want to see the arrow up on Mitchell Trubisky. Everybody you talk to there feels good about it. So that's the issue. The thing with Robinson is, forget about the money. Everybody's overpaid. Uh, in free agency. That's why the, the agents fought it so long. Uh, he's not a great route runner. He's not a great separation guy. He is a, uh, a really good catch radius, as Lou said, and he can fight for balls down the field. So Trubisky can throw it down the field, and so therefore it ought to be a pretty good match. He's also 24 years old. He's also an upgrade over everything that they had last year where they were so weak at that well, they position. they had nothing. That's the, yeah. Exactly. He's also 24. He's also expected to be ready for training camp coming off the injury that he suffered on the third play of the season last year when he tore his ACL, suffered meniscus damage. There were questions about the knee. And honestly, to get a contract this large, three years, $42 million. When you're coming up, that type of injury is amazing to me. That's that free agency. I guess so. We I guess create, so. We create players out of whole cloth simply because they're out there and they fill a need. Well, and, and Chicago had a, an, an extreme demand, and he, he was the supply, as, as Lewis has Good said for before. Him. Yep. Good for him.